Hello beautifuls, this is Avrami here, and welcome back, Backstage Pass, we are here, uh, I need to sleep, because I need to, the fatigue is cray, okay, study, blog, go out, blog, oh, my birthday, are we doing something for my birthday? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, as I head to my dorm, I see Benina waving goodbye to some of the students. Hey there, good show today? As good as can be expected. How are you? Not bad, just heading to- Sean! Glad I caught you! Adam races across the campus and slides through the hot in front of him. I've got to get to the studio, but I wanted to be sure I saw you first. Oh, you so sweet! I can't- Happy birthday! Thank you. No sweat. Anyway, gotta run. Later! Well, bye, love. Or, well, ex love. You didn't tell me it's your birthday? It's not that big of a deal. Uh, it kind of is. Let me at least get you lunch or something. I'd feel pretty lousy if I didn't. I don't want to impose. I was just about to grab something to eat from my favorite place. It's not imposing at all. If you insist. Benino strides across the campus one of the food trucks parked nearby. Even in the cold weather, the truck is doing brisk business. Here. Aw, oh, taco! <laughs> Aww. Benita returns and hands me a taco. It's laden with fresh vegetables, grilled meat, and what looks like to be homemade co 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 codeja? Codeja? Uh oh. Codeja, right? Please? The mouth begins to water as the aroma wafts through the cold air. Isn't this their most expensive one? You didn't have to. I didn't. When I told the guy it's your birthday, he upgraded it for free. Something about how his birthday was yesterday, so it's like a mini celebration or something. <laughs> His face looks flushed, but I, can, I can't tell if it's from the cold or he's embarrassed. Besides, <sighs> I can't even buy you lunch properly. I accept the taco from him and offer a smile. Hey, this is already more than you had to do. I still feel lousy about it. You don't have to. I never told you, so it's not like it's your fault or anything. I just wish I could do something nicer for you. You already are, man. You're, you're by me. Fine. Your company is nice enough. You really know how to make a guy feel special. Aww. I don't think you need me to realize you're special. But you help nonetheless. Aww, and now you're making me feel special. Anyway, I have to be going now, but thank you for the meal. Benito takes my hand and gives it a squeeze. Anytime. Your friends do that? <laughs> After we part ways, I glance down at my hand. There's a $10 bill on it with the words, Happy Birthday. Next year I'll do better. Better. Scrawled across the face. Oh, you're so cute! Oh, I hit my mic again, dear lord. I need to stop talking with my hand. Even when he's under pressure, he's always he always finds a way. Oh my god. He's like the sweetest. Why is he so sweet? Dying. As I finish my I'll work for the night, my phone starts ringing. I hit my head mic again with my headset. I glance at the clock. Who on earth is calling this late? Is this some kind of emergency? Important. Uh, hmm, not a number I recognize. For a moment, I consider not answering, but curiosity gets the better of me. Hello? Yes, hello. Am I speaking with Miss Gooden? Who the heck is this? I'm sorry, who is this? Oh, of course. I apologize for my rudeness. My name is Masahiro Koyama. Benito is my son. Oh, uh, oh, um, it's very nice to meet you, sir. I find myself automatically bowing my head and greeting, even though the move won't be translated over the phone. Please forgive me for calling so suddenly, but I recently found a video of my son online, and your name appeared in the credits under a special thanks. Are you good friends with my son? Um, I've only met just this year, but I'd say we're friends. It is a relief to hear that. Can you tell me if he is doing well? Excuse me? Is he healthy? Is he happy? As far as I can tell, but shouldn't you be asking him directly? No, I'm afraid that would be difficult. I see. I apologize for imposing on you, but I would like to ask you to please continue to be a good friend to my son. He is very clever, but sometimes he rushes into things without thinking. His mother and I worry about him. Okay. I'll do my best, but again, shouldn't I be speaking with him about this? There's a long pause on the other end as Mr. Kuyama starts, er, sorts 
are his thoughts. No, I think that is not necessary for now. Thank you very much for everything you have done. The Kuyama hangs up and I sit in silence for a while. He's certainly not what I expected. Although I honestly don't know what I expected. Benito speaks about his parents so infrequently. I guess I'll ask him about them next time I get the chance. Okay. I'm still checking my mail just in case. Now let's, let's actually go shopping. Look at this cute. Go shopping? I don't know if the... Are we still we still in winter? I'm really salty that last time I didn't know we were already like I did not realize honestly that I did not have the clothes. Bad. Alright, uh how do I raise my intelligence, bruh? Studying does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh. Blog blog. <laughs> I don't need money, look, I'm rich. <laughs> Talk to Benito. Uh, my meeting up on Wednesday, Wednesday at FADM. I've got another work project going on. Okay. Sure. That that accident closed out my game. Hold on. Is everything okay? No. No, it's not. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I think everything's fixed. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know why it shut off on me. Holy crap. My uh, a team just crashed. Vlog, vlog, vlog. We're gonna see Benito. Oh, wait. Did I, did I actually say go to town? Uh oh. Here. Get all this. I didn't mean to go to town. Vlog, vlog. Town, sleep. This, I don't know. Talk to him. Oh, did I put it on the wrong date? Did I do that? I don't, uh, I don't know. Let's go to sleep? <laughs> Question mark? And vlog? Vlog again. It's fine. Let's just keep vlogging. That was weird. I don't know how I got the, uh, I guess I, I hit something. A small smatter, a smat a smattering of applause welcomes me into the coffee shop, but I strongly suspect that I'm not the intended re re recipient of such adoration. Yep, I figured as much. Benito notices me and offers a quick nod in my direction. As soon as the crowd around him disperses, he strolls over. How are you doing? Oh, as good as can be said. Keeping busy making the dreams of children come true. He glances at the small collection of coins in his hand. Although I'm not sure they're doing the same for me. Not making many returns? College students are the world's greatest tippers. Yeah. Especially compared to that nice new hotel job. Uh, uh what do we do? Ask if he's... Why, why... Oh, yeah. Why are you still hanging around the coffee shop? Then why do you stick around here? It's good practice. I need a place where I can perfect my tricks before using them elsewhere. Tricks? I thought magicians called them illusions. Oh, I do those too. There's a difference. Nina pulls up a chair beside me and holds up a single playing card. This is an illusion. He places a card against the back of his hand and checks the corners between his fingers. Here, when I turn my palm over, my hand looks empty. When I move my fingers like so, the card pops up. If I do it fast enough, it looks like I'm pulling a card out of the air. That's impressive, but is it really okay to be showing me this? Benito lets the card fall from his hand to the table. See, making a card appear like that is the illusion. He snaps his fingers and a full deck appears in his hands. He fans the cards out from his team. The trick is letting you think that was all there is to it. Nicely done. So this place is like a good practice, pra ugh, practice practicing ground for you. I cannot speak. That's right. And on a strictly selfish note, I like seeing you around. Oh, you don't have to come here just for me. You know, I've, I'll always be there for you. Need it. Funny you should say that. I got an interesting job-like offer the other day. A couple of entrepreneurs are trying to launch an entertainment website full of original content. They're asking me to do a video of street magic for the site's launch. That's great. I'm so proud of you. Problem is, this is a really professional-level project, 
The cheap cameras we've been using for our blogs won't cut it. They're giving me money to make this, but I have to handle all of the actual production myself. Since you've got more connections in that area, I was wondering if you could help me out. Of course. Thanks, Sean. You're the best. Do I need to buy something? Uh... <laughs> I certainly try. I'll call you about details later. No problem. Talk to you then. Ciao! As soon as I get back to my dorm, I decide to give Lloyd a call. Greetings! Hey, Lloyd. Um, this is kind of a weird thing to ask about. I love weird. What's up? Oh, he loves weird. I've got a friend who came to see me for some professional advice. Can I talk to you about it sometime this week? Maybe on Wednesday? Sure thing. Wednesday morning at 4 24? Sounds good. See you then. Ugh, I miss Lloyd. I better call Benito and let him know. Pronto! Hey, Benito, I called a friend of mine and he's willing to meet up and talk next Wednesday. Do you know where Fo 24 is? Sure do. Thanks, Sean. You're a star. I think that rules that that rules is reserved for you. Yo, Kiyoma? Wow, I'm gonna call him out on his last name. See you Wednesday. See you. Yo, he doesn't even notice. Blind. Blind man. No, seriously, how do I raise my intelligence? The intelligence is like kinda kinda slacking right there. Excited about Well dude, we gotta go buy clothes. Go to shopping, check the mail. Gotta buy clothes. Shopping at the mall. Oh, movie theater. Okay. The divide. I think I bought this because it equaled up to the amount of these clothes. That's cute. That's cute. That's classy. These are cute. Is it, it just equaled the same amount. I equaled the same amount, but it's I still like it better than the actual dress, so it's fine. Um, my fatigue is trash. Do that. Vlog. Vlog. Meet up. Uh, how am I fatigue? All of that. What's the next event? April. I need to sleep. Oh. Uh. Ah, uh, I miss that. Inker. I know things are rough right now, but they'll get better. Everything is new and overwhelming, and I get that, but this isn't the end. Please talk to John. Isn't it his job to help you through this? I mean, I'm sure he's been through this before. He'll understand better than I can. Yeah, I guess I've kind of been avoiding him because I'm embarrassed to ask for help. Adam Eaton. The man who solves his own problems. The boy who solves his own problems. Don't classify me as an adult just yet. Of course, my deepest apology. Anyway, I'm gonna go call John now, and stuff. Sounds good. And good luck with your next song. I know you'll come up with something good. That's not about me, because I'm not out. I hate that. I hate visual novels. Hey, uh, little wizard. I hope you don't mind. Uh, Benito and I have already been getting acquainted. Uh, no problem, man. I hate visual novels where I have to quickly move on to the next guy just to continue on the series. Because I get mentally and physically, emotionally involved into that person. Just gotta move on. Not at all. Makes my job easier. So, what did you kids want to talk about? There's an upcoming site that wants to feature me as one of their main artists. They're funding me, but I have no idea where I'd get cast or crew or anything. That is a conundrum. My best advice is to find people in a similar situation. As in... Students in filmmaking, or the drama department at school. They'll have knowledge and training, although their experience will probably be lacking. But they're willing to learn, and a paying gig like this is always appreciated. That's a good idea. Although, I'm not a student at the college, so I'm not sure how much I can do. I can handle that part. Excellent! You two are gonna do beautifully well. Thank you for your advice, sir. We'll do our best. 
Huh. Talk to Benito. Hi, Benito. He has not complimented on our cute outfit. Just saying. <laughs> uh, uh... Sleep. I should save. I'm like really bad when I have to like... Go back on something and then I realize I haven't been saving for the longest. Study, vlog, go here, vlog, vlog. Start! Uh, play it soon. I don't know the answer to that. My fatigue is trashed. I already know the place, man. Yeah, I'm good. Alright, see you around then. I'm a cupcake. He likes s'mores, just like that. <laughs> oh snap, my charisma is up! It's maxed out! How do I get my intelligence up? Is my intelligence- my intelligence is slow as hell. Oh, since that's up. Well, let's just keep vlogging though. Um, exercise. Can't exercise for once. And I could technically- Wait, did my- did my... Charisma dropped so fast. Hello? Yes, Miss Gooden. Hello. Oh, hello, Mr. K Kuyama. Today is Benito's birthday. He probably won't make a big deal about it, but we thought you should know. Did you want to pass along your greetings or something? No, that is not necessary. Um... We just thought it would be good for you to know. But if you really care, you should probably call Benito and say hi yourself. Yes, yes, that might be possible. <laughs> How did you even get my number? Right? Well, um, thanks for letting me know. Thank you for being a good friend to our son. Well, that was awkward as ever. I'm a little worried about his family, or this family. Should I bring a gift? Hell yeah, this. I hope he doesn't mind that I have something for him. Hey there, Sean. Ready to discuss work? Whenever you are. Uh, I hope you don't mind taking a little break first. Um, today is my birthday. I knew it. Good thing I brought you a gift. You didn't have to. I know. That's what makes it a gift. Now take it. I saw these cards and thought of you. Whoa! These are pretty cool. I'll be sure to use them. Thanks! Anyway, not to cut the celebration short, but I would like to get back to work now. Alright, let's get to it. Nothing in the mail. Gotta work on my charisma again. <laughs> this is shameful. I don't blog for like a hot second and then it's like, why aren't you blogging? Blog all the week then. Blogging all week. Tiffany and waiting for me outside of class. Hey Sean! Everything set up for recording the street magic special? Wait, did I did I do the going out on Wednesday? Did I do that? Oh yeah, I did. I phew. I've got it all in hand. Are hiring st hiring students from the film <laughs> from the filmmaking and drama department for your crew. Although I've got a friend of mine taking lead on camera work. Excellent. I'll see you Saturday. See ya. Christmas back up. No worries. No sweat. Cafe. We are both Benito. Uh. Let's see a Saturday. What? Oh, does he mean like next Saturday? Oh, this. Adam's launch event. So. Special. Okay, so let's wait. What's the status? 267. Vlog, work, go to town. Vlog just in case. We're gonna. X. Just go to sleep. Go to sleep. So I feel like the fatigue is just gonna magically go up like it is right now. GG. I don't see any launches today. What? What does he know? 
Oh, wait. Oh, he doesn't know my fear of crowds. What? No? I don't have the full details, but it's become apparent that you don't do well in crowded situations. It's easier when I'm, in, I'm not the center of attention. Let's go. Uh, let Adam handle it on his own. I'm not going for him, so it shouldn't really matter. For the romance route. Oh, it's Rachel! Our girl Rachel! Morning, kiddos. Ready to get this thing rolling? Nearly. I've already collected all of, all the release forms from all the student volunteers, and they're in the holiday section. I point to a group of nearby students. There's the rest of your crew, Rachel. They're from the Filmmakers Club, so they know the basics already. Great! I'll go get them organized. This is really impressive, Sean. You're the impressive one. I just pulled together with a few resources I have. Well, whichever way it goes, I'm still thankful for your help. Rachel calls to us from her post. We're ready to go. I'll go get the first batch of actors. I head to the actor holding and call for the first set of actors. Alright everyone in group A, please follow me. I quickly arrange the actors and give them their instructions. Rachel moves in with her camera and I step back to watch what's happening on the screen. Nito interacts with everyone with his usual flair, the presence of all the lights, and cameras doesn't phase him in the slightest. I've seen some very talented people freeze up in the, freeze up the minute the camera goes on, but Benito behaves as if they aren't even there. On the downside, his inexperience is making some of the shots unclear. His hand disappears from the viewing screen for a moment, and his shoulders blocks another one of his tricks. Hang on a moment. Everyone turns to stare at me. Oh, um, cut? <laughs> What's wrong? Um, I was just looking at the footage, and it doesn't look... Dang. How so? I was thinking the same thing. The positioning is a little off. Alright, how do I fix it? Wow, without even a blink, he's already looking for a way to make things work better. You really need to keep the camera in mind at all times. Know where it is so it can stay in the action. I'll handle making sure everything is balanced and framed well, but if you turn away, we'll miss part of the trick. I read that it's best not to consider the camera's presence. Otherwise, I might become self-conscious. Maybe for a TV show, but this isn't a TV show. It's supposed to feel like the viewer is practically part of the audience. Oh, that's perfect. What's perfect? Think of the camera as another audience member. Don't keep staring at it, but make sure you can see everything you're doing. I can handle that. Then let's get to it. That's cute. That's a cute, uh, thing to think about. Rachel and Benito both look at me expectantly. Oh! Um, places? Action. Oh, look at him. Benito immediately sets back to work. Looking over Rachel's shoulder, I can see everything looks a lot better than it did before. Rachel frames everything perfectly, and Benito makes sure the camera is part of the action. The actors all react appropriately, mostly because they're all genuinely surprised by Benito's tricks. The film filming takes hours to complete, but everything goes smoothly. As soon as filming is over, I call the actors over and begin dealing with paperwork. Hey, what's up? Just handling the administrative administrative stuff. Question mark. <laughs> Good work today. Thanks. I'm just glad it's over. Not quite over. I'm sure Rachel has some footage for you to review. Might want to see her. On my way now. Just wanted to say thanks for helping out. I couldn't have done it without you. It was my pleasure. Thanks to Benita's sponsors, I earned $500 from this job. Woo, spanking some money, hell yes, even though, like, I'm not using it for anything. It's size clothes. It's size clothes, that's all I'm using it for. But I actually don't know how long this video has been since I did that cut earlier on, I mean, earlier this episode. So we're just gonna stop it here. I think it's a good stopping point. I think we're almost done with Benito's route, because it's already April, our next uh, interaction should be in June, and the time goes by real quick in this game, but that's where we're going to end today's episode off. I hope you guys are enjoying Benito's route so far. I'm not getting super attached to Benito as I am with Adam, which is okay, because then I can rank which guy was my favorite out of the whole selection we have. I don't know if I should rank Floyd and Alvin in it since they're not really main characters. So maybe I'll just rank two different kind of selections. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys in the next one.